Well, ask anybody in the home industry and they will tell you there is an insurance crisis in Florida. Rates are increasing for homeowners and the same goes for insurance companies. State leaders are set to talk about this and try to find some solutions for the crisis during a special session in Tallahassee. That's going to be next week. But tonight, on your side's Andrew, Andrew Badillo joins us live to preview what they're going to be talking about. And Andrew, what solutions might come out of this session in Tallahassee? Well, Jean, Jeannie, I spoke with a attorney who has extensive knowledge of the special session that will be happening in Tallahassee next week. And he says that there are several solutions that come, could come out of that special session, ones that could alleviate the insurance crisis, but not solve it outright. The reality of it is, is, as you can see, and this is typical of all the rooms, everything's piled in the middle. Um, you know, the walls are cut from 30 inches down. This was Todd Trousdell's Davis Shores home weeks after Hurricane Ian, one of many homes devastated from another catastrophic storm. We spoke to him back in October. The increase in insurance claims has attributed to the growing insurance crisis in Florida. We are seeing premium increase in by 50% of what people paid last year. In some instances, is even 100%. Isaiah Rumlin has been in the insurance industry yeah. for 40 plus years and has never yeah, seen rates really rise like up. this yeah. for yeah. consumers yeah. and insurance companies. The state legislature is holding a special session to discuss the crisis next week. We got to do something about it and, and maybe we can do it through legislation. So Chip Merlin is a member of the Florida Justice Association and says he expects legislation to come out of the session. He says it's tough to address rising rates attributed to hurricanes, but lawmakers can address roofing scams that are also driving up insurance rates. Merlin and Rumlin both said contractors approach homeowners about their roof, saying they can replace it. The homeowner then gives that contractor control over the claim through an assignment of benefits. The contractor can then submit a claim, oftentimes for a roof that doesn't need to be fixed, driving up claims and rates. The state leaders have made it very clear that that's on the chopping block uh, while they've made regulations to make it more difficult for roofing contractors to get those AOBs. Now that special session is set to start Monday in Tallahassee. The Florida Justice Association adds that it does believe that some form of legislation will be passed by the end of the week. We're live in downtown Jacksonville. Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side.